Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town where I've actually just gone back and watched some old videos of mine because I said I'd done this build before here. Do you remember last episode we uh, uh similar and, and I remembered it was season eight, which is I mean this is season ten, but this is many years later. This is like two years later, so it's been a while. Um and I went back and I had a look at it and I was like, yeah, I know why I did that. It makes perfect sense the build works everything is good but i don't want to repeat it i don't want to repeat it i want to do a similar thing but not in the same vein if that makes sense um i don't I just want to copy what i did before so it's gonna be a variant on it so the idea that i have is not going to be this here kind of is um it's still going to be the same thing we are going to do um let me let me um me, um uh let's this grab grab some rails shall we let's actually grab some rails and do this with rails so uh, i'm going to come over to where it's green because it's easier on my eyes um so we're gonna have um let me just represent the town so we i'm in so the the, the layout that i had before was um like that okay uh and um we uh then had a rail system going around it like this um which delivered the goods to all the all the things as it went to and there, there's the eight town so that that's that's just a small each one of them silos is a town a town center and the rail delivers the town center beautiful wonderful fantastic yep it works it's wonderful i don't want to repeat that nope don't want to repeat that i want to do a slightly different layout um, not hugely megaly different, so um, yeah, that's very loud. I do apologise, the, the kaboom is very loud. Um, what I want to do instead is something like this. So I want to do something like this. Um, I don't know why I wrote it around there, but yeah, um, with the rail system actually be like this, and the other side like that. Um, Oh, that's uh, that's wrong. That's wrong. Like that. So the rail system, that's where. And we will have offshoots from the main rail. Uh, the main rail will be two rails thick, so it'll have one travelling clockwise, one travelling anticlockwise. Maybe um, I need to remember how to do the logic to it. I'm not going to go back and watch the previous video for the logic. I went back to look at the layout that I did so that I could try something different. Um, yeah. So we're going to do this. Uh, and then the additional houses, the towns that we have, I'm going to put here. Like that. On the outsides. So, we're going to have a sort of layout where um, the rail, the trains will come along and they will come off of the main track and deliver to that one. And then off the main track to that one and then that one. Um, although what I might do is um, uh, have it do like this. Uh, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, let's do that, 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 and then that, that, that. And the reason I want to do it like this is so that each rail has two offshoots. Now, I might stagger these. I might actually put these here instead. Rather than put them in the centre, because... Uh, Put them in the center purely because it looks like aesthetically pleasing but if i'm looking at uh the actual rail system how it's going to work the train's going to come along obviously this is not to scale obviously uh, the trains will come along uh, and they'll they'll turn they'll come off of the main track and stop here then they'll return to the main track and then they'll have space to come off the track this side to this one and come off and then they do the same so it's staggered so you see we've got we got right, that's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, as as, as you're looking at the train. So if the train's traveling clockwise, we come along here, we deliver to the left side, we have a space, we deliver to the right side, we have a corner, deliver to the left, space, right. So it's that, rather than putting them in the center and then they've got a little tiny, so there's a big gap here and a small gap there, that would stagger things better. Also, doing it this way means I can put the Omni Temple in the center. The Omni Temple is, is a five by five building. It's a bigger building. So I'll put it in the center of the thing. And that would be our town layout. 
and I kind of like that. That's eight houses. Each each one will represent a different um, setting of um, uh, the town. What's it called? Uh, speciality. So we will have. We'll have one for farming, one for forestry, one for mining, one for processing, industry, knowledge, artistry, and magic. Each one will do that. It's the same as what I did last time, but it makes sense to have each town specialise in the thing they want to specialise in. So it it kind of it makes sense. And I like this layout because then we can deliver either side. If we had one rail go around, delivering left and right, it also gives me more space to deal with the rails, like we can have multiple lines of trains rather than just one track which is what i think i did in the previous in the in the last did that season eight playthrough i did one track and it wasn't a great idea the, the trains blocked up a lot so this way maybe we could have i don't know three tracks all going clockwise so yeah it does mean that if this one has to deliver to this town it's got all the way around to deliver to and come back but yeah you know and if we have like three tracks or four tracks for instance we, we could do four tracks um and just go like so uh one track delivers to these two houses one track delivers to these two one different and then, and then you know and then you have trains on each track there and we, we can have a much bigger train system which allows much more throughput the issue i was having on that season eight playthrough was that i couldn't get enough throughput going because the trains weren't quick enough so I wasn't delivering the goods fast enough to where we were going. I started adding more carriages to trains. It didn't really work. So, yeah, yeah. so so I think if I take that knowledge from there, which was a couple of years ago, so it's not really in my head, um, and uh, we try and learn from it, hopefully we can learn better. So, yeah. I will, however, steal the layout of the towns from that system there. So um, let's go over here somewhere. Um, let's use up loads of our money and flatten an area down because um i need to which means i can destroy the fish that's fine do, 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 do. oof oof the lag the lag 17 fps wow it's because it's redoing all the uh the pathing grid that's fine um in fact i factually actually had an update um not too long ago where uh it improved performance dramatically um, and, it, and it does it does appear to be that the game just generally runs better um, obviously when you're flattening massive amounts of lands it has to redo all the pathing grid which is why it slows down so you know, forgive it for that forgive it for that let's get rid of these trees here um potatoes we can plant potatoes that's fine just get rid of some trees to have a space here so the idea of the previous one and uh, i'm going to cover this again if anyone hasn't seen it I have a video up if you search in my channel for uh, Town Centre Layout, Factory Town, Factory Town, Town Centre Layout, you will find this. So, um, it's the best layout I discovered after trying many different things and playing this game for many, 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 many years. Um, so, uh, uh, in fact, you know what? That's 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 bad. That's bad. Let's move this over. Um, yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Move this over here. Yeah, right because because i need i need an angle this so so your town center is uh three it's like i can't even cut up between the lines look um is a is a, has a is three by three okay so you're gonna have to have like roads like this like this dum, 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 dum. so if you go 11 do 11 gap so uh do, 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 you see in the bottom left corner it shows that's 11 long so i know this tile here is 12 and if i right click without clicking it cancels um, so that tile there, um, unfortunately, it cancels the whole thing. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So like that. Okay. Boom. And then boom. That should be eleven inside. Yep. That's eleven that way. And that's eleven that way. Cool. So there's an eleven by eleven. And then you do a three gap around it, like so. Boom. And then you do another eleven. This. Uh, and then we do uh, three gap. This to do, do fill in that road, fill in that road. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Wow. Okay. So, but yeah. But yeah. Um, and then you do a third one. I don't have enough wood to do it for some. Uh, oh dear. Uh, I suppose I need to get that going again. Uh, we do a third one over here. 
um, and do one here and another one up there, uh, then that is enough space. So we got uh, this is an 11 by 11 with a three gap roads. So it's 11 and a five with roads in it, and 11 So we go 11, 11, 11, uh, 11, 11, 11, and then it'd be one more here. You can kind of put them on the edges as well, sort of, but when you upgrade a town center fully, this will actually support this all the way out. So can I actually get 11 in here? There, which makes it like that. So there we go. Put on. When I upgrade a town center fully, this edge will be here. And it will circle around up to here and we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six of these 11 by 11 segments inside the influence of a town center when it's up to level 10. And this allows you, being 11 by 11, allows you to put in any sort of construction building or anything inside here. So, um, uh, uh, you know, if we go with, um, uh, let's go with the forges, for instance, uh, you can put in three of them like this inside there. Um, you have spaces in between here for the rail, not rails, the um, uh, belts to come down. So that's fine. You can also, and I think this is the way I end up doing it. Um, uh, I don't want to turn them around. Um, I think I end up doing it this way. I end up going like this with these, and then did I put a yeah, put a barn in the center there like that. And then the idea behind this is that the barn can feed all of these ones like this, so we can output to there and you can stack them so you can go up up higher and have multiple outputs and then from here they can come out and go into the barn as well so you can feed from the barn to them and then back again also and i don't have them unlocked yet no I yes i do have them unlocked but i need stone i don't need stone brick that's interesting um packages are a thing that i haven't covered yet but packages are basically they allow you to package goods up into boxes so instead of having a conveyor belt that delivers, uh, let me go and show like here. So instead of having one piece of paper on the conveyor belt come along, you can have a box, which I think has four in it, taking the same space. So when you go to fill a train or like, for instance, you saw a cart, uh, we had a wagon somewhere. Oh, well, I think it's uh, the boat, the boat. So the boat can carry uh, um, 10 items, but if it carried 10 boxes that means it's carrying 40 items for the same speed so the idea would be um that we would package everything up ship it to the train stations the train stations would deliver the boxes that would get delivered to wherever it is to go to and gets unpackaged and moves on packages can also benefit from coin boosters to speed up their their speed so um so yeah so this is what we're going to do this is the idea and I'm going to leave more space in between them than I would have done normally. Normally I'd leave like a, just a small gap in between them, but I think we're going to leave like a, uh, maybe we'll do like an 11 gap in between them just to have space. And then we've got the uh, the 5x5 five five Omni Temple in the center with rails that can go down to it and feed it. We'll figure the Omni Temple out later. That's going to be like an offshoot of things and stuff like that. So, um, but that's what I want to do. That means I need a lot of space. A lot of space the reason i think it was so compact in season eight was because i built it on an island and we only had such space this is infinite infinite map so i want to do it much more spread out much more spread out if we can so i haven't moved the town center and i believe the town center by default is at um like the center of the map so when you spawn out the center of the map so if we go up here um, see this here so this is at uh this point here so these these are the two tiles the two tiles the chunks of the game so that's at that point there right so that point right there yep yep okay so that's the chunk so if i was to grab that and run this out i know we can't build it because it's not there but we go to the town center aha look the town center is almost in the center of the map obviously it's a three by three so it doesn't actually fit to a town but yeah so if we assume that the uh, center of the uh, the town center is the zero by zero point, that's where we want to put the Omni Temple. We can then figure out how far we want to go and build things and do stuff. I'm not sure what large, what size. Yeah, not sure what size we want to go. Um, I will move trading posts. Uh, technically, you can't ever move them. You're not you're not actually allowed to. They're not allowed to. But you can use the you saw me use the um, creative mode to move them. So so that's the idea. 
that's the idea. However, that's going to come in a little bit later. I'm not going to do it now. We need to save up lots of money. I need lots of red coins and lots of yellow coins because I need to remove all these things um, and flatten down the whole terrain uh, to do things. So, yeah. And that's fine. That's fine. The terrain is pretty flat, but um, obviously uh, it's marshland, so it's got the little single bumps and the water around it. So, yeah. And we'll, we'll dig water things in as well. Uh, we'll put water in in certain places. Uh if we need to like feed farm yeah if we need to field farms and things you want to put the i mean you can put multiple bells in there's also you could have an external place of water and ship all the water in we could ship it in via rail it's really impractical but a bit more realistic you have a water train going around i don't think that would keep up with it but but we'll see we'll see how things go anyway um that's going to be the plan. So, what do you think? What do you think of the plan? I've lost the plan. Where's the plan? There's the plan. What do you think of that plan for a layout of the town? Okay. So, um, Omni Temple in the centre. A town here. So, these are the... Um, so, let's... Uh, I don't know which way. So, the, the town centre is facing this way. So, let's say the way the town centre facing is north. I don't know how to tell which way is north. Um... I think that way is north. Yes, we do. I think because that's the default way items got. Um, uh, the, the default way, like um, uh, the default rotation of uh, logic items is facing that way. So let's let's go with that way is north, which means the town center, the first town center faces south. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, that way is north. That was north. Okay. Um, so, so we're gonna have um, so the crate. Uh, so let's um, let's let's get rid of the crate and put a, a um a, a splitter like that. There you go. Bomb. So that way is north. Okay. Um, in fact, we could uh, do better than that. Let's put a pusher. Oh, if I could spell correctly. I'm doing it again. I'm talking loud. Sorry. So that way is north. Okay. Um, So we're going to have two towns north so northeast southeast southwest northwest we're going to have two towns of each type okay so we have to figure that out there and we can go um north north we could we, we could go um uh north east southwest and then northeast northwest so that these would be the north that's the northwest that's the northeast that's southeast that's southwest that's just the north town that's the east town, that's the south town, that's the west town, which means it should be in the middle, but we're not doing that because, yeah. Yeah, um, but alternatively, I could put the towns in the center and just have the rail come off the side. So it doesn't really matter. But the reason I'm saying that is because I need to get in my head, figure out how the rail system is going to work. But we need loads of space to do things. So let's get our technology going. Sorry, I've been waffling for 18 minutes. I do apologize. I'm talking again. I keep, keep, let's talk more play okay so let's um get our medicine going so i'm just going to go back to the main town and do it for the minute um in here the main town's got a big influence so that shouldn't be so bad we'll get some medicine going over here um somewhere what do we need to do so we want to do medical wraps that's the next thing we need to do okay so uh medical wraps are made in a medicine hut which uh, we're making aren't we we're making medical wraps no, we're not. We're making everything else around it. Um, medical wraps require research. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to be something like advanced... Uh, advanced medicine, which is there, which we have enough science to do. So let's click that. Pop. Oh, there we go. Awesome. We have natural knowledge volume 3. We haven't got volume 2 right yet. Um so, uh, yeah, we, 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 I don't know if we need that or not, to be honest with you. The, uh, the research, um, lots of stuff does cost a lot as you go down. But once you've kind of got the research done, you can shut down your research. So, uh, yeah, but then again, you want research because you want education. Uh, so long as they've got three education, that's fine. Uh, and that could just be the basic books. You don't necessarily, excuse me, don't necessarily need to upgrade to the, the, to the better books. It will give you better research quickly. 
so you can go through the research tree faster. Yes, true. But there's no rush to this game, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Um, okay, so we want to do uh, medical reps, which requires poltice, ointment, cloth. You are doing poltice here. So, what if we stopped selling the poltice? Um, because medical reps, uh, I believe, sell for better. So, poltice sells for three blue coins, medical rep sells for 18 blue coins. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that. I'm going to remove uh, the natural resources here, that one there. I'm then going to move you over to there. Um, and then I'm going to pause the game momentarily. And I think I'm going to move you over to here. Build up a um, thing there and do that. And then get rid of that one you're still selling to it okay um so that's fine let's go uh that's that's fine that's fine we'll get rid of this for the moment okay so you are making the pull so we then need to ship the pull over to another um uh medicine hut that is producing um We need to shift the portrait over to another medical hut. That's 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 the first step. First step is shifting it over to another medical hut. Uh, I'm also uh, we're gonna we're gonna rearrange ever so slightly. Unpause the game. We don't need to that. Move that back by one. Move this to there. And it can be about like that. So you're still getting that there. Remove this. Uh, this requires uh, wraps from there. So we'll leave that like that. Grab another one of these guys. Uh, I'm going to put it up there. In fact, I'm going to move this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. But you will feed that. You will feed this guy. You're going to do medical wraps. Okay. You need ointment, which I believe we're making fish oil here. Which we're selling, aren't we? Fish oil is going into... Where's fish oil going? Underground. Oh. Fish oil goes into this guy here. Okay, so I need to cancel that and then I need to run this here. Now, this is interesting. Okay, so remember I told you above ground that if you run a shoot through another shoot, it will work. You can cross the shoots, but if one shoot blocks up, it will block the other shoot from flowing. Now, that doesn't happen with pipes. If I run this pipe to here, it will connect to this pipe and then feed into this building here. But if I run it through the pipe, it does not connect. So the pipes flow past each other. They don't block each other. They aren't connected to each other. The water will never get into this pipe and the fish oil and things will never get into that pipe. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So fish oil is coming to here to do this guy to get antidotes. Uh, you require remedies, which you're not getting because remedies, uh, what's wrong? You want two every 12 seconds and you're producing uh, one every six seconds. You should be working fine. Why are you struggling? You're not. You're not struggling. You're running it perfectly well. Okay. This one's ointment. Now, ointment is made in another medical hut. Um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, so let's get another medical hut going. <laughs> this is fast becoming a mess. Um, uh, this will make ointment, which requires fish oil and uh, things. So fish oil can come from this guy. Okay, let's go underground. This is this is fast becoming a mess. Um, I'll get rid of that. Okay, uh, I'm going to run. Oh god. Um, run this to there. 
and then run this out to there like that I hope I hope that'll be fine okay so you're gonna get the fish roll that's nice you need herbs now um, herbs can come from this side yeah herbs can come from this side so but, ah oops oops wrong bum wrong bum Pushing R to rotate. That's why the uh, research menu keeps coming up. My apologies. Boom, there you go. Okay, so this will feed the first one. And then we'll feed this one if it's backed up. Boom, there you go. So you're going to get seeds. You'll get that. You'll start making ointment. Fantastic. Ointment has to come to this guy along with cloth. Okay. Cloth can come out of this one here. <laughs> this is a terrible build. Um, oh, God. Um... Yeah, this this is this is oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna do it on above ground. There you go, bump so ointment, there you go, dump. Okay, uh you're not getting official, that's because you're not running fast enough. Um can we are you in the influence of the town? You are in the influence of the town. So let's remove that there. Let's increase the road up to here, like this. That should give you a speed bonus now which it does awesome um cool 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 um i also want to increase you slightly because um we need more fish oil now we need we need way more fish oil than you other so we need one every 12 uh two every eight uh, yeah we're gonna need a lot more fish oil than you're probably producing um fish are actually going down that's not a problem not a problem at all um yeah so you're going to produce that there are you right okay so this is doing this here so this comes down here and does this uh this is an input only that's an output so this fish oil goes in here otherwise it skips past and goes down to there and then we'll be sold off later uh this will output the students to here so this 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 works this is, I'm going to go with this is one of the worst builds I've ever done in my life. But you know what? It works. That's all that's important. That's all that matters. Okay. You are getting enough fish oil in from the looks of it to just about run. Yep. Okay. But on. So there we go. And we are producing medical wraps. Woohoo. Awesome. And we're not selling them. They've just been produced in here, which now means we need to sell them. Um of which I am going to um, do um, 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 um what am I gonna do here uh, I am going to make a second apothecary because it's just gonna be easier yeah yeah Okay, um, okay, page up, page up, boom, and then also I'm going to change this, remove that, uh, we're going to go page up, page up, to there, like that, and then like that, okay, uh, no, not like that. that okay and uh then we'll get a pusher um oh uh turn it that way get a pusher put it there so it pushes into here first and then if it doesn't come push into here it will bypass uh, and go to here to sell i didn't put it onto the same uh output because i'm concerned this 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 one had already filled up with full ties and it wasn't selling enough of it so I'm concerned that if I did that, it would back up and then this wouldn't be able to output its goods. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Um, what a build. What a build. Look at the spaghetti. Enjoy the belt spaghetti. With belts up here, up there. We've got this feeding this one here and feeding that one here and feeding the other one here. And this now needs to speed up because it's not fast enough anymore. Um, 
So uh, here we go, because he's not producing enough herbs. That'll be fine. This will do its thing here. That does it. Fish oil goes underground. It, it, we, we've got underground spaghetti as well. With this working worming its way around here and this crossing here and this. Did, oh my days. Oh my days. Also, uh, that's incorrect now. Uh, this wants to go to here to feed the house because we moved the house. So there we go. Awesome. Okay. And we can upgrade to tech level eight. Hurrah! We now have mana power available, which lets us boost things with mana. Okay. Okay. We'll get to that next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I do hope to see you again in the next one, where I think next episode we're going to try and work on getting some better red and yellow coin inputs coming. We are at the stage where we could... Sorry. Um... Oh. Oh. I forgot to do this. Uh, we're at the stage where we could start making cake, and cake is good. Cake, cake is good. Everyone should agree, cake is good. Yeah. Um. Oh, I can just put one in there and save myself a bit of effort. Boom. Oh, uh, messed up. Messed up. Nope. Uh. Uh. Oop. And then. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now you've got more. Yeah, okay. Phew. Sorry. That I was like, why why has the metal stopped? Why has the metal stopped? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I also need to figure out the tree thing. I don't know why our trees drop down so dramatically. Didn't we have somebody just grabbing trees for us? Oh, planks. Ah. Planks, not just trees. No. Okay, we need somebody that just grabs trees as well. Ah, we can do that here probably. Um anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll see you again next time. Uh, we'll work on our red and yellow coin production. And until then, as always, have fun.